Hey Haruka, how are you? Oh, you know, just living the dream. The dream where I'm stuck in Skyrim with a forgetful Argonian. Can't get any better than this, can it? But enough about me, how are you holding up? Ran Gru. So the voice you just heard here is one of the voices available through the Google Cloud platform thanks to speech service. This was recently implemented from a contributor of ours, Rude. Now the Google Cloud speech to text is a pretty good alternative to Azure in regards to quality and also pricing. There's quite a few different voices and we'll get into voice configuration later on in the video, but the standard basic voice is an absolute bargain as you can get your first 4 million characters free per month and on top of that every other 1 million characters is only 4 US dollars which is relatively cheap for a service like this. And as you're about to see setting up a Google Cloud platform account is actually very straightforward. There's one caveat to all of this as usual with all of these cloud services you do require a credit card, it's just something we're not in control of. Anyway, let's go and set up a Google Cloud Platform account for use with the Herica mod. Now of course the first thing you need to do is actually set up an account. So go to the link in the description below and click start for free and fill in the details as needed. Once your account is set up and you've logged into the main page, the first thing we need to do is create a project. It's pretty much the overhaul in folder structure which will manage all the resources we're going to create. Well, we're only going to create one because this will be rather straightforward. Anyway, click select project and create a project. The name honestly does not matter, call it whatever you want. And once the project has been created, Select the project and open up. Now in the search bar, enter text-to-speech and search. You're going to be looking for the cloud text-to-speech API. You're going to want to select that and then enable this API. Once this API has been enabled, go back to the search bar and enter service accounts. From here, we're going to want to create a new service account. Once again, account name does not matter, same with the account ID. Once you've done that, click create and continue. Under the rule, you're going to want to filter for text-to-speech or something similar. And end of the day, you just need to select the cloud speech administrator rule. Once you've done that, click continue and then done. Now with the new service account, click the three dots icon under actions and then manage keys. We're then going to want to add a key, make sure to select a JSON key. This JSON file will be downloaded. This JSON file is your API keys. Like with all API keys, don't share it with anyone. With the file downloaded, you're going to need to rename it to gcp underscore key dot JSON. We then just need to put this JSON file within the TTS folder in the simple AI gateway server. If you're using the Drama distro, make sure the distro is running, otherwise you can't access the folder structure, and just put this file within the same folder structure if you're using UWAMP. Now all you need to do to get this initially running is go to the configuration page on the simple AI gateway server and change the TTS function to GCP. Now if you open up the game and talk to Haruka, she should sound a bit different. Back again, Rangru. My memory's bad, but it's not that bad. What brings you my way this glorious day? And if you hear her, congratulations, you got it working. There's really not a whole lot of API configuration you need to do. On the Google Cloud side of things, you can set up some budgets to help keep track of the pricing if you need to. Now, for extra configurations, it's quite straightforward. All the pitch, volume, and tones can be changed within the configuration file. To actually change the voice type, Go to this link here in the description, and there's a sample of all the different voices currently available. It's three types of voices which are available currently. The first one being standard, the second one being neural 2, and the third one being Ravenet. We're going to play some samples of how each of these voices sound like. Well, hello to you too, Rangru. Did you get a good rest? You know, even Argonians need their beauty sleep. What's wrong, Rangru? Does your speech skill need leveling up? You keep repeating the same dialogue line. But don't worry, I get it. It is hard to find good company in Tamriel. Hello, again. Hello once more, Rangru. Let me guess, 
You took an arrow to the knee and can't think of anything else to say. And those are just some of the voice configurations for Google Cloud Platform. Now, one of the main advantages for setting up this voice service with Google Cloud is that potentially in the future, as time of recording, they're going to release an even more higher quality voice sample. There must have been moments even that afternoon when Daisy tumbled short of his dreams, not through her own fault, but because of the colossal vitality of his illusion. Of course it'll be more expensive, but hopefully it'll be a good competitor to the Eleven Labs quality of voices, well, hopefully a little bit cheaper. So it's a pretty good idea to set up Google Cloud Platform now. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. And well, I'm gonna leave it off at yeah, I think I'll let Herica end off the video as usual. Alright, here's one for you. Why don't dragons sleep during the day? Because they don't want to be dragon their tails. Get it? Dragon? Dragging? Ah, oh, never mind. Your sense of humor must have been stolen by a Khajiit.